the Cloyster Cocktail. And no, you don't have to be a monk to drink one. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Sometimes you may not know exactly where you're going to run across a particular cocktail that might really be good. There are a variety of famous books out there, whether it's, you know, David Embry's The Fine Art of Mixing Drinks, whether it's uh, Gary and Marty Reagan's The Bartender's Bible, or, you know, my own book, The Essential Bartender's Guide. One time I remember I was down at the Zigzag Cafe and Ben Doherty was showing me a, a book he recently got from his mother for birthday present. And I'd never heard of it before. He'd never heard it before. It wasn't by anybody we had really known. And in it, we found the Cloyster cocktail, which really was a fascinating drink. Let's take a look at what it takes to make the Cloyster. We're going to start off with one and a half ounces of beef eater gin. And to that, we're going to add a half ounce of yellow chartreuse. Now, as I've mentioned before, yellow chartreuse can be rather hard to find. If you can't find yellow chartreuse in your area, you can use green chartreuse instead. Just use less of it. So rather than a, a half ounce of yellow chartreuse, um, maybe I might try using a third of green. Then we're going to add a, a half ounce of grapefruit juice. A quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. And a quarter of an ounce of lemon juice. Being a drink that has juices in it, of course, we're going to shake it. Strain it into a glass. This is an, an antique glass I picked up. I thought it'd be good for the cloister. It has kind of that illuminated lettering sort of feel to it. And then we're going to garnish it with a lemon twist. You could also garnish this drink with a uh, grapefruit twist if you want. They don't quite add as many oils, I find, as the lemon twist does. Um, and sometimes the big size of the grapefruit is a little bit harder to take and peel around. But uh, I like the look of a lemon twist in this particular drink. Huh? Sometimes the lemon twist breaks on you. That's no big problem. And drape it over the edge of the glass. And there you have the Cloyster Cocktail. Hopefully you'll give it a try.